All right, this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the uh, <clears throat> passer rating for an NFL quarterback. So here, here's the formulas that we use. <clears throat> so I just, I just made these variables up, X, Y, Z, and W uh, for the formula. I mean, you know, it can be any, any variables. You can put A, B, C, D if you wanted to. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so first what we do is we uh, calculate X, which is the number of completions over attempts. Okay, and then you subtract that. You, you subtract the completions over the attempts minus 0.3 and then multiply that times 5. Okay, So that's how you calculate the x value. Okay, I guess th this right here would be your completion, the completion part of it. Uh, completion percentage uh, or percentage of completions in the in the passer rating. And then the next one, y, that's yards over attempts minus 3 and then you multiply that times 0.25 that would be your average yards gained per attempt and and, and I'm gonna I'll do a calculation uh, based on some stats and then also we'll uh, we'll go over uh, how to set up a spreadsheet with this okay I've got a spreadsheet set up and I'll have the how to get to the spreadsheet in the description and you can just all you have to do is just input all this stuff and uh, yeah, the spreadsheet to calculate it for you and then next we have Z that would be your percentage of touchdown passes that's the number of touchdowns over attempts and then multiply that by 2 and then W that would be your percentage of, of interceptions uh, that's 2.375 minus interceptions over attempts times 25. Okay. Now, the one thing that you have to note is this right here. If the result of any of any of these calculations is greater than 2.375, you set it equal to 2.375. Okay. It can't be over that. And if the result is a negative number, you just change it to zero you set it to zero and then once you calculate X Y Z and W your passer rating is just X plus Y plus Z plus W all that divided by six and then you multiply that times a hundred and that will give you the passer rating alright so let's just look at you know something real quick so so let's say we have a quarterback let's say the completions um, he has uh, 34 completions out of the number of attempts, 49, and let's say pass for uh, 465 yards, and the number of touchdowns, he had four, and the interceptions, he had one. Okay, so let's take this and let's calculate. So the first thing we would calculate is X. Okay, so X would be the number of completions over attempts, so that would be 34 over 49 minus 0.3, and then all of this times 5. And so that would give us X is equal to all right, so that would give us this for X, okay? That's what we get for X. And then next we would uh, calculate Y. So Y would be, okay, we've got the yards. So that's 465 over attempts. The attempts is 49 minus 3. And then all of that times 0.25. So you would punch all this into your calculator and you would get y is equal to 1.6224498. Okay. 
So this would be X and this would be Y. Okay, and then you would do the similar similar for this. And I'm not going to go through all that here, but for Z, if you punch that into your calculator for Z, you would get 1.63265. Three zero six one, and for W you would get one point eight six four seven nine five nine one eight. Okay, if you put all that into your calculator, and then so for your passer rating, so your passer rating, well that would be X plus Y plus Z plus W. Okay, and what I'm going to do, when I write these down, I'm going to write them down rounded to two decimal places. Uh, that's 1.96 plus 1 point, well actually 1.97 if I'm rounding it to two decimals. And then we would have 1.62 plus 1.63 plus 1 1.86, all that over 6. And then we would multiply that times 100. And just make sure when you when you punch this into your calculator, you do this plus this plus this plus this, and hit enter, and then divide it by 6. Okay? Don't put this plus this plus this plus this divided by 6, because it, then what it'll do is it'll add these three up, and divide this one by six and then add that result unless you have all of this in parentheses in your calculator so you got to be careful of how you put that in and and when you put that in you end up getting a answer of 118.2 okay so you, you can see it's it's quite a bit of calculations and and that's why I set up a spreadsheet to do this uh, so let's take a look at the spreadsheet and I'll show you how it works. Um, and I'll, I'll put one formula in there for you, uh, this first one. And then the other ones are similar on how you put this in. Because it's not just, it's just not, a, it's not the simple thing of just, of just plugging, punching this formula here in and having it calculate, you have to take into consideration if this is larger than 2.375 and if it's smaller than zero. Okay, so, so let's take a look at this. All right, so we're going to have to use if statements and we're actually going to have to nest two if statements together. Okay, all right, so let's, let's just do X. Okay, so remember, remember the formula for x, it's completions over attempts minus 0.3 and then all of that times 5. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how to put this in. So we're going to hit the equal sign and then it's going to be if and then I'll need a parenthesis and then I'll use another parenthesis to put in the completions which is B4 divided by C4 minus okay well we'll close the parenthesis there no I'm sorry I'm sorry we're not gonna close it we're just gonna subtract point three okay because it'll divide this and then subtract the point three and we'll close the parenthesis because we want all of that times 5. Okay, And so what we're saying is if this right here, if it is less than 0, then I want it to return 0 as an answer. So this is your logical expression, and if it's true, this is what it's going to turn, return. Now, if it's false, well, so that means if it's not less than zero, then it's either greater than 2.375 or it's between zero and 2.375. Okay, so I have to put in another if statement. So that means if it's false, if it's false, so 
What do I want it to return if it's false? Well, I have to check to see if it's greater than 2.375. Okay, so now I'm going to put if parenthesis and then I will have B4 divided by C4 minus 0.3 and I'll close the parenthesis and times, let's see, times 5. Now, if that is greater than or equal to 2.375, okay, I want it to return 2.375, okay, okay, but if this, if it's not greater than 2.375, then what do I want it to do? I want it to return the actual result of the formula. Okay, so that's going to be parenthesis B4 divided by C4 minus 0.3 times 5 and then parenthesis, parenthesis, and hit equal. And then, and so I get this 1.969, whatever. And then you can see the other formulas are like this also. So, you know, if it made sense on the, if it made sense, all that, all that stuff that I put in the formula, then that's good. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, get this spreadsheet. It's a, it's a Google Doc. Okay, it's Google Sheets. If you have a Google account, I'll share the link to it, and you can, you can download it into your. Uh, you can pull it into your Google Docs, okay? And uh, I'll also put a, I'll also put a link to an Excel file that I'll have on my website, so you can get it there if you have Excel. But you know, if you don't, use your Google Docs, all right? And then you can see we get the passer rating here, of, and this is all I did. I just added up these four, divided that by six, and then times a hundred. Okay, and then and you can see this formula is similar to the one we put in here. Okay, it has the nest, nested if statement, and then this one, this one. Notice this one's a little bit different. This is e4, okay, divided by c4 times 20. Notice I don't have anything in there if it's negative, because if you think about it, this one won't ever be negative, okay, because I'm doing touchdowns divided by attempts. He's not going to throw for a negative touchdown and he's not going to have negative attempts. Okay, so this will always be positive so we don't have to take into the, we don't have to take that into consideration. And then of course we've got the last one, the uh, W, the percentage of interceptions. But yeah, I mean all you do these these four these colored cells, the yellow and the green, they automatically calculate the numbers. Okay? All you have to do is you come up here and watch. I mean, if I change completions to say 40, watch watch all of these numbers here will change. Okay. Well, actually not all of them, but because the completions was just on this, but it changed the passer rating. And evidently, this might have been over 2.375, so it defaulted to 2.375. I don't know if I change it to 39. Let's see what would happen. It's still 2.375. Uh, I don't know, maybe 36. Okay, so you know, up there around 36, 30. Well, around maybe 37. No. Nope. So let's see about 38. So maybe right there at 38 would give me 2.375 or a little bit more. I don't know, but uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, this sheet's going to be available. You can download it. You can download the Excel file on my website, but hope this helped. You know, I just thought it was interesting how to calculate the quarterback rating and, you know, nice little lesson on Excel. So uh, give me a like, share, and comment, and thanks for watching.